We present a method to arbitrarily resize an image while preserving the aspect ratios of prominent features. As shown in this example, the method successfully preserves the shape of the car despite significant changes to the aspect ratio of the image. We represent an image as a regular grid mesh. The sizes of the quad faces are adapted to prominent objects in the image. To resize the image, we solve an optimization problem to determine the vertex positions of the deformed mesh and then interpolate the interior of the quad faces. The main idea is to automatically detect prominent features and optimize the local transformation of the mesh quad such that important regions would undergo uniform scaling while allowing homogeneous regions to be squashed or squeezed. In this example, our system automatically identifies the surfer as an important feature. The left image shows the pixel significance, and the right image shows the quad face significance. Red means important, and blue means trivial. Notice that the quads covering the surfer are rescaled uniformly to preserve their original aspect ratios, while the sea and water splashes are squeezed or squashed to satisfy the new global aspect ratio. We define the significance map as the product of the gradient magnitude and saliency information. Observe that the gradient magnitude successfully detects structures, however it is easily disturbed by trivial repeated patterns such as the trees and leaves in this image. The saliency measure tries to capture the human perception of an image. It indicates the attractiveness of a local region. By combining the two measures, our significance map is more accurate in detecting prominent features. The resize results show that, compared with the gradient map, our significance map can better prevent prominent objects from being squeezed. We show more examples to demonstrate the effectiveness of our method. These continuous resizing examples are achieved in real time, since solving for the deformed mesh and linear interpolation of the interior quad content can be performed in real time. Here we show some comparison results with previous methods. Observe that our method produces smoother results in the improved seam carving, which causes noticeable discontinuity. Comparing with Wolf and others' warping method, our optimized scale and stretch method propagates distortion in all directions, and thus better preserves the aspect ratios of prominent objects. In addition to global resizing, the idea of optimizing the local scaling for prominent objects is useful for local image editing. Our system allows the user to translate, rotate, or scale a specified region. The outside region is automatically deformed such that the aspect ratios of the more prominent features are preserved and the homogeneous regions are squeezed if necessary. In this example, we move the biker to achieve an effect of changing the viewpoint. 